uh, is uh, uh, in honor of uh, LGBTQI plus solidarity. So what will happen now is we'll take two actions. We'll read the pro well, we've approved the proclamation. So I'll read the proclamation, and then we'll go to item. What item was that? Eleven. Uh, and uh, and go from there. So in honor of LGBTQI uh, plus solidarity, whereas the city of Antioch embraces diversity and stands firmly against any form of discrimination and hate based on sexual orientation or gender identity and expression, whereas the city of Antioch values the uniqueness of our friends, excuse me, of our residents, and stands with, uh, with youth and their families who deserve to be who deserve to be who they are, treated with dignity and receive equal treatment and protection. Whereas discrimination against the transgender community is not based in science and is intended to sow division and instill animosity towards our fellow Americans. And whereas the city condemns any attack on the transgender community and reaffirms our commitment to being an inclusive environment. Whereas the progress pride flag has des was designed by Daniel Quasar who adopted the original pride flag of, of the rainbow and represents the concentrated move towards a more tolerant and intersectional LGB LGBTQ plus community. And whereas the black and brown lines of the progress pride flag represent marginalized people of color within the queer community, while the pink, blue, and white arrow uh, shape represents the transgender community. Now, therefore, I, Lamar A. Thorpe, member of the city of Atlanta, do hereby condemn violence against the transgender and non-binary community in all forms and commit to advancing for the well-being and safety of the transgender non-binary community. So I believe we have, oh, Robin, you're here, uh, here today to join us. And when Robin finishes uh, her remarks, uh, we will move to uh, uh, the pride flag, the official action. Uh, and then we'll take a 10 minute recess and go outside and we will all collectively as a community raise the flag. Thank you so much, Mayor, Council members, and staff. Uh, I'm proud to accept this proclamation on behalf of Rainbow Community Center of Contra Costa County. Rainbow Community Center is located in Concord and serves the entire county. And our mission is to build community, well-being, and equity among LGBTQ plus people and our allies. If you want more information about Rainbow, you could speak to me later or visit rainbowcc.org. Um, I'm really proud to accept this proclamation um, and the actions Antioch's taking in regards to the uh, horrible remarks that were made. Um, not only because they condemn the remarks, but they go one step further and actually affirm the community. And that's so important because that gives our community hope in the face of all these challenges we're facing. We got to have hope, as uh, Harvey Milk, the late Harvey Milk used to say, you got to give them hope. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Appreciate you. Robin, one of my former shipmates in the United States Navy, so always proud uh, to point that out. Uh, oh, 11. All right, item 11 is recommendation of the, oh, uh, Approving display of progress, uh, pride progress flag during the period of April 12, 2022 to December 31st, 2022 at City Hall. Um, are you taking this, Mr. City Manager? Mr. City Attorney? No, oh, I believe this is the Assistant City Manager. Just, uh, Mayor Park, we also do have two comments. Just want okay, to we'll know. get. Uh, Ms. Vinyl Moore's presentation uh, remarks, and then we'll go from there. Good evening, Mayor Thorpe and members of the council. At the regular city council meeting of March 22nd, public comments were received regarding homophobic and transphobic attitudes experienced in the community of Antioch. As an expression of opposition to discrimination on the grounds of sexual orientation and gender identity, Two agenda items were subsequently prepared for city council action this evening. The first is the proclamation that this body uh, acted to approve, and the second is the display of the pride progress flag. Attachment B is included in the backup for today's uh, council agenda item and refers to the existing 
a flag policy in the city of Antioch. A resolution has also been prepared that aims to uh, create a space for display of the flag that uh, is outside of uh, the normal procedures that are identified in the policy. If there are any further questions, I would be happy to receive them. All right, public comments. All right, we have two public comments. So, Rebrell Beverly, followed by Lucas Stewart Kilcante. I just want to call both of you so you can be prepared. So, uh, Robriel or Robrell? Sorry, I've been saying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's Robriel Beverly. Um, I am a, a worship here in the city of Antioch, and I also live, and I'm also a business owner. And I do not agree with having the flag. Um, we have the United States of America flag. We have California flag. And we have the city of Antioch flag. Why do we need any other flags? What, what is it going to, what is that going to accomplish? Everyone is represented with the three flags that I just named. Everyone is represented. No one's excluded from that flag. And I also like to read um, from uh, Genesis 9. It says, I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is the sign of my covenant with you and with all earth. When I send clouds over the earth, the rainbow will appear in the clouds. And I will remember my covenant with you and with all creatures. Never again will the flood waters destroy all life. That's the word of God. Thank you. Lucas Stewart Calcate. Hi, good evening, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you so much for bringing this um, to the agenda, both items. Um, I wanted to bring uh, another copy of what we're going to see outside. Um, I have this out, out front of my house on Mapsque Road in District 2. It's, it's a really great sign of solidarity. Um, we also have, uh, on another topic, we have a, a yard sign that, you know, says Black Lives Matter, not all lives matter because the black lives have been having a hard time um, in our history. So that's why flags represent uh, compassion, um, representation, recognition, and love for um, a group that feels unwelcomed. Um, so I hope that you all Hold that message in your heart when we step outside after this. Thank you. Questions, comments from council? I'll go ahead and make the motion. All right. Is there a question? Okay. Well, you can have the, you can do the motion then. I'll go ahead and make the discussion. motion. Um, uh, it's recommended that the city council adopt a resolution acknowledging the city's policy for display of flags at city facilities as it relates to various flags approved by an adopted resolution of the city of, of the city council, approving display of the pride progress flag during the period of April 12, 2022 to December 31st, 2022 at city hall. Second. There is a motion by council member. Wilson, seconded by Councilmember Torres Walker. Further discussion? Councilmember Burbanica. So I've given this a lot of thought over the last couple of weeks because it was told to us in the last council meeting that this was going to be coming. So I've given it a, a lot of thought <clears throat> and I talked to a lot of people about this to get to really kind of form an opinion. And those of you that know me know that I really don't make a final decision until I'm sitting up here. I went to one of my friends who is affected by this, and I said, help me understand this situation. And what this person told me was, because I asked about the, well, what about other flags and other issues? And the person told me that two things. Number one, or there's two different things I was told. Number one, if your house is on fire, 
and the fire department shows up and you're living next door and you say, well, but what about my house over here? And they said, but your house isn't on fire right now. We're dealing with this one. Yeah, but come protect my house. This one's on fire right now. And it really kind of enlightened me. And then I went and talked to my priest about this and said, what are your thoughts? Where do you think I should land on this? And my priest told me, you would not be outside the, the thought of our church if, in fact, you sided with this. I don't have an issue with this flag. And I know that's going to alienate a lot of people that support me. It is what it is. If it alienates you, it alienates you. What I, the only problem I do have is the fact that we're doing this for an entire year. I was contacted by some veterans that said, what about us in November at Veterans Day? Some police officers that said, what about us? Spoke to a firefighter yesterday, said, what about us? I wish we would have done this for Pride Month, and then I would have been making the motion and saying, let's support this and let's move forward. My issue is, is that this is an entire year. It's not the flag. It's not what it represents. It's not the people. I do, uh, I feel everybody in this community should feel welcome and safe in this community. I just wish we would have done this differently and included everybody. Council Member I totally agree with uh, Mayor Pro Tem Barbanica. Some of um, what I have written down, but um, that's the problem. If we fly this flag until the end of the year, there's no other flags that can be put up on the flagpole. And so for those reasons, I'm gonna vote no on this. Thank you. So our flag policy exists and organizations have a right to request to fly the flag. That doesn't change. Um, what I will say is, is that um, our young people out there uh, need to see a strong stance of solidarity, uh, and particularly those who are transgender, uh, and particularly looking at the most recent surveys of, uh, of the suicide rates uh, among, uh, among youth related to this topic. Uh, and I, I, I find it, well, you know, folks are going to say things, but when you're, when you're a self-proclaimed community leader, uh, calling individuals uh, delusional um, is just wrong. And we need to be firm on, on, um, on making sure that our young people understand that we will not tolerate that. Uh, and so... Um, so with that, I'm perfectly comfortable uh, voting for this. So with that, if there's no other further discussion, please cast your votes. The resolution to display the Pride Progress flag at City Hall passes 3-2 with Councilmember Orgachok and Mayor Pro Tem Barbanica voting against the motion. 10 minute recess. Uh, Mayor Ford.